Hi guys, welcome to Johnny Mathematics. This is the second video in the series that is sort of targeting the easiest questions in the higher paper. Um, level six, level seven, in my opinion, what are the easiest topics, okay, that are gonna get you that grade. Um, for my group in year 11 that are isolating, set two, this is especially kind of um, suitable for you guys, um, but I suspect you know this one already, okay? Um, and I thought I'd just sort of start by taking a bit of a risk and we can do a little bit of a number game, okay? Um, aimed at level sort of six, standard. And let's see if you can keep up, maybe using some of the skills from the last video, the, um, the negative and fractional um, powers that we did. So, um, Nina, let's see if you can keep up with this one. Um, give me a number, Ooh. Nins. Um, three. Three, okay. So, let's start off with three. So, three times eight. times two, take away 30, divided by three, times five, take away five to the power of a half. Take away eight, squared. So, what did you get then, Nins? Um, nine. Did you get nine? That is what I got, I must have oh. I might have made a mistake, but yeah, it was nine, well, okay? Was Look, well done at home if you got that, okay? Um, let's have a look at um, expanding triple brackets, okay? Um, in my opinion, this is actually the easiest of, of all the, the, the topics. Um, and this one has got to be in the bag, okay? Now, I do know that you've done this one before, Nina, haven't you? Okay, so I know you know how to, how to answer this, okay? Um, so just sort of going through this example, um, what we're going to... What we're going to do is we're going to actually times out these brackets first okay and i've got to assume that if you're here looking at level six and seven you know how to expand two brackets and of course we're using these rules up here aren't we okay so um we are going to go x times x um I always do this in two stages, plus times minus, minus, x times 3, 3x, three then 4 times x, 4x, four plus times minus, minus, 4 times 3 is 12. So that is the square brackets there. Um, we need to simplify this, don't we? So if you're at minus three and you go up four, you end up at plus x. Now, and, and again, if you're not sure about these rules, there is another Johnny Mathematics video that you could look at, okay, which will help you on simplifying algebra. So um, doing this one now, this is the bit you may not be familiar with, um, Nina, you do this bit for me, darling, would you? Okay. Um, what's that times that? Um, x cubed. That's it. And that times that? Minus 2x squared. Yeah. And um, plus 2x. X times oh, no. x. <laughs> x squared. X times x is definitely x squared. And I'm glad, again, I'm glad you did that because so many people go x times x is 2x and it's not x times x is definitely x squared, okay? Um, and what's that times that, Nens? Minus 2x. Minus 2x. Um, it's really important you give yourself plenty of room here so you don't sort of make mistakes. 
Um, and then finally, I like to use a different coloured pen for this to make it stand out. What's that times that? Um, minus 12x. And that times that? Um, plus 24. Plus 24. And then finally, you can only put together things that are x squared or x or numbers or x cubed. Okay? Um, I would always recommend you put in a 1 there, so that is kind of 1x squared. So we've got x cubed, we're at minus 2, add 1 is going to be minus 1, um, and that is going to be minus 14x add 24. And you don't actually need this 1 here, but I've included it, okay? But I've included it. Um, what do you think, Nina? Yeah, good. Yeah, let's do um, let's do a question and see if you can get it right. I think. Okay, we'll do one question. Um, you probably want to pause the video. Um, I'll make them all. Will I? No, I'll make one, two negative and one positive. So pause the video and let's see if you can get that right. Okay. Right, good. So I'm going to do this, um, see if I make any mistakes, Nina. So x squared minus 3x, so x squared minus 3x, minus 2x, add 6. Okay. And this bit here in the middle, this bit here in the middle is... Um, minus 5x and then we are then going to go that times that and finally let's do the uh, 6 I mean, you've just got to be kind of organised with this and neat, I think. Um, and you're, you're less likely to make a mistake. So your final answer is going to be, so we've got 1, take away 5, is minus 4. And then minus 5, add 6, it goes past 0 and ends up at 1. Okay, that's right, and then check me. Very good. Um, look, well done if you've got that right. And I don't think that is adequate. I think you probably need to do um, some more practice with that. Um, if you look at Maths Genie and you look up um, level six, you'll see a whole bunch of questions like that that you can, you can practice, okay? Now, there's one more thing I wanna put in at the end uh, of this video. And this is a kind of level eight or nine proof expanding brackets um, thing, okay? So, here we go. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm literally gonna put one question on the board and we're gonna talk through it, okay? But first of all, let's see, let's see if you can get it right. So, it's a, it's a classic question, okay? So, can you get that question right? Pause the video, let's see if you can, okay? Typically, I find that people get this question wrong, okay? Um, I want to talk you through it step by step. Whenever you see anything squared, always write it out twice. So, I would recommend that you times out this bracket at the side, okay? And we should be able to end up with
So when we've expanded this bracket here, we should be able to get that, okay? And you've probably got one mark out of three if you've got that bit right, okay, on, on the GCSE paper. This is where the problem is. This is where everyone tends to sort of cock up, really. And the key to doing this is to realise that in algebra, if there's, you know, if I said to you, look, apple, I really mean one apple, you know, or banana, it's really one banana. So in exactly the same way, if you've got a bracket here, really there's a one before it, okay? So what, what we're going to do is we're going to expand this bracket here, and then we're going to times it all by minus one after. So, do you think you'd get this right, Nina? Um, I think I'd, get, I'd have a good try at it. I might get it right, I might get it wrong. Okay, right, well, I wish you could have a go at this, to be honest, but never mind. So, um, if we expand this bracket here, then we're going to end up with 9x squared, so it's going to be minus 3 minus 3x, that's going to be minus 6x um, plus 1. Okay. Um, be very careful, you know, go through it step by step, okay, with this bracket here. So now is the crucial part, we're then going to times each bit by um, minus 1. So I'm doing it. So that times that is that. Minus times minus is plus. 1 times 6x is 6x. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Okay. So at this point here, we want to um, put these things together. So we're going to put the squares together. So 9x squared minus 9x squared is 0. And then here we've got plus 1 minus 1 is 0. And of course, we're left with 6x and 6x, which is 12x. So look, this, this, is, this is a level 8 proof question, okay? Often it's written in a very straightforward way. I think this is a, you know, a low-hanging piece of fruit from the higher tree, and I, I think we should be having a good go at it, okay? The key is remembering um, this bit here, okay? Uh, again... Do a bit more practice of this, okay? I don't think we're going to do any any now, um, but that's that's pretty much it, I think, Nina. I think we're pretty much there. Um, I, I really hope you enjoyed um, the video. I hope you learned something. You got another few marks. Every video, if you get a few more marks, then that will be significant, you know? A significant sort of... Um, it's significant in terms of getting that grade that you want okay um, do feel free to um, subscribe and like my videos it will be appreciated um, see you next time thank you